Yo, what's good guys? Theo here. In this video, we're going to build a recursive reduce function. So first, to understand what reduce actually does, let's build out the method for ourselves. Okay, but let's use it. So we're going to create a numbers array, and it's going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in it. And we just want to add up these numbers, so at the end, we're going to expect to get 15 back. Okay. Um, what we can do is store our answer in a variable called result, and we can say numbers.reduce, and in this function we pass it a callback function, and it's going to have two values. It's going to have an accumulator and the value. So accumulator represents the running total, and the value is the current value we're on. What we can do inside of here is we can say return accumulator plus value, and then right in here, it's actually going to return to us a number, so we can just put 0 to start it out. And if we log out our result to the console, bring up our console, and we get 15. Similarly, if we take this out, we should get 10. Okay, cool. So that's what reduce does behind the scenes. Let's build it out for ourselves. So we can say function reduce it takes in an array. And what it'll do here, we'll build out an array, or sorry, we'll just build out a total, and we'll start that at zero. We'll now iterate through our numbers, so we'll say numbers dot for each, but just to show the more iterative approach, we'll say for var i equals zero, i is less than numbers dot length, i plus plus and we'll keep aggregating onto our sum numbers of i. At the very end, we can return our sum and we can just const.log it here. So now, if we pass reduce with numbers, we're gonna get 10 and if we put five back on, we get 15. So we've now built the reduce method. We've used the built-in reduce method. So let's build it recursively to understand how a native implementation might actually work. So to do this, we can say function recursive reduce, and you can call it whatever you want. And all it's going to do is it's going to take in an array, and we're going to check for our base case. So we're going to say if array.length is equal to 1, then what we're going to do is we're going to return the array. Otherwise, this is where the fun starts. We can do this. We can return an array, okay, with the array of zero plus recursive reduce of array dot slice one. So everything after um, that first index. So if we call this, so we'll say const.log recursive reduce and now we're going to give it numbers so we're getting one two three four five we're close but um, I think what we need to do actually is I'm going to take this out of here and we're going to call dot concat and so I might have made a mistake here I'm thinking we can do a concat array of zero plus recursive reduce of array dot slice one to array dot length minus one. And let me see, one, two, three, four, five, that, that should be right, but let me think what we're getting. Return array of zero. So we're getting one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're close, um, but let me think. So one, two, three, four, five ray.concat, ray zero, and then, so I think what we need to do instead is do array of zero plus, okay, there we go. So, I had to think about that for a second. We don't actually need, we're not returning an array, we're returning a number, okay? So, let me break this down with our stack trace again. And basically, Inside of here, we'll look at it. So stack trace, and we'll take off auto run JavaScript, get rid of our output there, and clear it. 
So basically what happens here, right, we have our stack that I used to represent it, give us a good mental model. And we walk up to the stack with uh, a first call of numbers, which is one, two, three, four, five. We're coming in with that. And we're saying, is it equal to one? And just, just for clarity, let me run that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we need an array of zero. Okay, cool. And yeah. All right, so we walk up to it with uh, one, two, three, four, five for the first time. And what we do is we say, is the length equal, um, is the length equal to one? No. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna return array of zero, which is one plus recursive reduce of, let me make sure this works with just one as well. And then let me make sure. All right, cool. So we can use array dot slice one. So we can do array dot slice one, which is just two, three, four, five. Okay, so now our stack should look like this. It should just look like one plus recursive reduce of two, three, four, five. Next up, so let me break this down into first call. Second call to our stack will look like this. Two, three, four, five is equal to one, no. Then let's go ahead and return two plus, I'm gonna copy this plus recursive reduce of three, four, five. Our stack is now gonna be one plus two plus recursive reduce of three, four, five. Next up, we have a third call. And again, I'm just really breaking it all down for you guys. Of three, four, five, is this equal to one? No, let's go ahead and return three plus recursive reduce of four and five. And now our stack is going to be equal to one plus two plus three plus recursive reduce of four and five. Our fourth call is going to be four and five. Is that equal to one? No. Then let's go ahead and return four plus recursive reduce of five. Our stack is now one plus two plus three plus four, plus recursive, reduce of um, five. And finally, our fifth call is going to be five. Is that equal to one? Yes, then we'll just return array of zero. Okay, so that's return five, and our stack is now one plus two plus three plus four plus five, and our answer result be 15. Okay guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.